Harris Stir Concert Cove has hosted some great acts since the venue opened 12 seasons ago. It's even ranked one of the top amphitheaters in the world. We expect its reputation will only be solidified this season, considering the lineup. Mike. It's a big one. Missy Harderson is the director of entertainment. Welcome back, Missy. Hi. You got to be excited hey, about this it. season. I'm I saw some of the acts. I know. Who are you most excited about? I'm excited about Alabama Shakes, Alt J. Um, bringing back Alice in Chains. Mm -hmm. I, I love it all. It's just a great time of year. Huge names coming in 2015. Yes. Uh, maybe we should go through it day by day, starting with May 20th. May, May 20th. And we, some metal? Yeah, with <laughs> Judas Priest. Um, they haven't been in this area for a long time, so excited to bring them back. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's the Section. first show. That's the first show. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then do you, okay. This is the whole lineup right this here. This is the whole lineup. Yeah, so we're bringing back George Thorogood along with Brian Setzer. And his oh, cool. Yeah, I saw nice Brian Setzer about 15 oh. years ago in Sousa. He's got a great band. He mm -hmm. does. So it's a nice little package. So that's June 13th. And then the next night, oh. incredible package of yes. Bare Naked Ladies, the Violent if Femmes. If I had a million dollars. That's the Violent right. Femmes, they bring all their equipment on the bus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, from Men at Work. So oh, very excited that about that package. And then Rob Thomas, he's coming solo. Get out. Solo what? with the with plain, with plain White Tees. Matchbox 20, if you're a fan of, of that band, you know Rob Thomas. Yes. Plain White oh, Tees, a huge following on their own. Absolutely. Neon Trees, another big group. I know. We're, we're getting a lot I of great I feel like they stuff. were here not too long ago, weren't they? They here? were scheduled um, for the fall last year, but they had to cancel their oh, okay, show, yeah. one of their band members. I saw their name. Yeah. So now they're back. David Gray, another popular act. Yes. So David Gray was at Stir Cove a few years mm -hmm. ago with Ray LaMontagne, and it was just an amazing show. So. I heard that was one of your best that season, to it people was. who saw it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sold out completely. and. Had a couple of engagements in the crowd yeah. and oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. proposals, and I should say. Weird Al Yankovic, he's making a comeback. He, uh, you know, he had a new album come out yeah. and he's been selling out every venue and there's a lot of buzz around this show this summer. Keep taking us through July here. Yes, yeah, so July 8th we have the Avet Brothers, um, putting a little country on the bill with oh, a little gosh. big town and yeah. David Nail. Um, we have The Roots coming, <laughs> so super excited about that show as That's well. That's July 18th. July you 18th. said Alt-J. Why are Alt you excited J. for that show? Alt-J is headlining a few festivals this summer, and it's just, it's going to be the show of the summer, I think. Uh -huh. So very excited about that one. Like I said, Alice in Chains. Back more metal, huh? More metal. <laughs> Alice okay. in Chains. July 31st. Yes. I heard that date's already gobbled already up. No tickets sold left. Sold out. Who's wow. year with Dawes? Take it me to church. People want to hear I it live. Know, uh -huh. I know. And we announced that show right after the Grammys, and you know, in a few days, it was completely sold out. Mm -hmm. So. It's going to be a good show as well. So it's nice to kick off the season with a sold out show. Um, I don't want to skip over Alabama Shakes or Slightly Stupid. However, I feel like Billy Idol on <laughs> September 10th is going to be a show for a lot of people. They would not miss it in a million years. Absolutely. You know, Billy Idol is just one of those acts that delivers. I mean, mm -hmm. he puts on a great performance mm -hmm. and it's you know, we, we're excited to That's have him back. That's a huge name to have Big at the name. venue. Yes. And yeah. we're taking a look at the venue right now. Yes. And uh, I went to a couple shows last year. It is one of my favorite amphitheaters in the world. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at the shots Why? here. Why? Why do you think it's special? I mean, it's just a, a perfect atmosphere. I mean, it's intimate. You can get as close as you want to the artist. Mm -hmm. You can have a nice cold beverage in yeah. your hand, enjoy the weather, overlooks the Omaha skyline. So yeah. it's just a great venue. You're exactly right. It is intimate. It's kind of cozy in there. It Once is. you kind of get down into the bowl, mm -hmm. you feel like you're, you're part of a, in a small venue. Absolutely. But sometimes small venues lack energy for me, but this one doesn't. No, so like you still get all. that vibe that you were talking about. <laughs> But you still feel alive, and the, the artists seem to respond. They quite love well. it. They love it. I mean, it's a perfect routed spot. Mm -hmm. You know, they usually come from Denver to Chicago and Omaha's or right Council Bluffs. This is a perfect spot. So that being said, do you think you'll add more shows? Absolutely. As more oh yeah. We yeah. usually do about twenty to twenty-five shows per year, mm -hmm. and so we have some shows to announce throughout the summer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I might announce one on Monday. Okay. <laughs> or okay. how about Friday? Like right now? Yeah. What are you working on? Oh wait, till Monday. Okay. Yeah. Give us a genre. Um, it's metal. metal. <laughs> you love this metal. That's good. I how, do. how do you decide? Take us into your process as you're looking at options, yeah. and how do you determine what the audiences here will love? You know, I just look at 
um, who's going out on tour during the summer and just lo looking at their routed dates. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to book a little something for everyone, so I, I don't stick to one genre. And, you know, just look at ticket sales, history, who's been in the market, who hasn't. So there, there's a lot that goes it's into a it. formula. And, you know, yeah. we ask the fans who they want to see each and every year. So yeah. we definitely go off those lists. And you've been doing this so long enough that you know what's, who's popular, Absolutely. what genres are popular in this area. Uh, you mentioned tickets. How do people get tickets? And I understand, can you get a season pass? You can. You can buy a season pass. So you get a ticket to every single show, even to the shows that we add. Mm -hmm. um, Starcove.com is the web address and of course we're on all the social channels. The package if you love live music and you just want to go to everything, the great savings. Yes, um, it's about $500 for the, the season mm -hmm. pass so that comes out to like $25, $26 per show. Per show to see great. the likes of Billy Idol, are you kidding me? And then <laughs> summer jobs, a lot of college students are coming back home. Yes. How can they be part of the excitement So of you know we have a lot of opportunities whether it's securities or ushers, ticket takers, beverage bartenders, mm -hmm. you know, caesarsjobs.com is the web address and, you know, we're always looking for great talent to help us put on an amazing summer. That's well, great cool. shows. Can I get a backstage pass if I take one of those jobs? <laughs> sure. Or just hang out with the bands backstage? <laughs> Mike's in. You know, <laughs> people think that's the case and it's not. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> All right, you might Missy. Get, get an artist, you know, brush through your Right. 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 <laughs> Walk by him, yeah. She can make no promises, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Starcove.com for tickets. Uh, Caesarsjobs.com if you'd like to be part of things this summer. Thank you, Missy. Thank Missy, you. Great we'll to see you. Missy, we'll see you this summer. Sounds Indeed. good.